Hello everyone, what I had in mind for this video was to explain how the armor itself works. This could be treated as an armor guide until one wants to go into the details. So at first we know there are 7 types of armor, or well, 1 armor and 6 resistances. 2 earth, wind, fire, water, dark and light. To get straight to the point of this guide, which is the best type of armor all around, we'll start with a couple of tests. Here as you can see my friends wearing a ringmail which has 12 armor against my claymore with 120 normal damage. As expected we've only dealt 108 damage as 12 was absorbed by his armor. So now to have a full image of what can block normal damage my friend is wearing an armor with additional 5 light defense. And what is also understandable, his armor protected 14 damage, not 19 as normal damage weapons ignore elemental resistance. Time to move to what can actually block elemental damage, same as found in example lightsabers or water guns. Things work a little different here, which you will have a chance to see. Small water gun deals pure 110 water damage. Sonic is wearing the ringmail again, the one with 12 armor as well. As you can see we've hit him for 98 damage which means that 12 damage was absorbed here too. Here as a comparison where in both cases the same damage was absorbed by the armor. There is one reason for it. Physical or normal armor blocks every elemental damage done by players, same way as it would block the normal or physical damage. Elemental resistance on the other hand cannot protect you from any damage other than its own element. And here is what it would look like graphically. How is it another wall and secret base then? Well, the thing is we are not sure what kind of damages do all the monsters deal, so the best gear all around would be just the one with prioritized physical armor. It's popular to prioritize highest defenses during PvP as well, because people are capable of pulling incredible amounts of armor from existing gear. Do not get me wrong, the elemental resistance will also be useful in cases of fighting against sabers or any other elemental weapons, but as always, normal armor should be prioritized. Also armor perks can increase that amount along with your health perks. About outfits themselves, the more affordable ones can be found in the nether guide which I'll link in the description, but credit to Mysterious Guy DK, a slightly changed highest defense set will be put in the description, that way I can update it whenever there's a change. And I guess that's it. It wasn't really long, but I hope it was at least useful at some points, and yeah, see ya!